heard, and Jerry Judge was head of security. And when you arrived at the house uh, on Sunday, March 8th, 2015, uh, what did you do? I just parked up and went into the house. And did you observe anything when you went into the house? Yeah, I mean, initially I walked into the front door. Uh, initially I heard, rather than saw anything, I could hear pretty hysterical sobbing, crying, um, which sounded like misheard to me. I heard Jerry Judge's voice. There's a few steps as you go up into the house so you can't immediately see um, what's going on. But So I went up the steps. I could see then Miss Heard over on the right-hand side over towards the TV room with Jerry Judge. David Kipper was in the kitchen area, which was pretty much directly ahead as you walk up the, those steps. And were you able to visually see Miss Heard? Yes. And you were able to hear her as well? Absolutely. How would you describe her demeanor? Hysterical, probably the best way to describe it. Um, crying a lot and, you know, just, just crying uncontrollably, I think it's fair to say. And how would you describe uh, Jerry Judge's demeanor when he was speaking with her? He was just keeping her calm saying, it's all right, love, it will be all right. You know, Jerry was good, like a you know, big heart, Jerry, he's a good guy. He was, he, he was calm. Uh, Jerry was always calm, well, mostly. And what did you do next? Um, I saw they were in, engaged across a way there, so I went into the main kitchen area, which, as I said, was just directly ahead of those main steps, and spoke to David Kipper. And following that conversation, what did you do? Well, he told me that um, Mr. Depp had objection here, sir. So. All right. Uh, Your Honor, it's, well, maybe we approach. Okay. Uh, so you, you can answer the question, what, what did you do next? So I spoke to David Kipper, who was in the kitchen area, seemingly rummaging through a bin. Um, he said he was, that Mr. Depp had sustained an injury to his finger, one of his fingers, and he was looking for a, the fingertip that, that had, it said it had been severed. And so I said, I said, well, shall I help you, you know, as one would? And he said, yeah, that would be a good idea. I left him in the kitchen. He said there was a lot, lot more damage downstairs. So I, I went to, you know, we split up. He was left him in the kitchen. I went downstairs to, to search. Uh, did, at some point, was Mr. Depp's fingertip found? Yes. Who found it? I did. And where did you find it? Downstairs in that, the bar area. The, um, the games room bar area. So can you walk us through how, how you found it? Yes, so I walked down the stairs. Uh, I mean, there was a bit of damage down the steps. The big chunk had been taken out of the marble staircase. Um, on my way down, remnants of what looked like a plant pot or something around it smashed. 
walking down into the bar, I could see the damage that Dr. Kipper had told me about. A broken ping pong table sort of collapsed onto the floor and lots of glass and broken glass and cans strewn around the bar area. And where exactly was the finger in the bar area? Directly below the bar. I mean, the bar was set up like a conventional bar uh, that stuck out from a wall and with a marble top. Uh, there's a big chunk out of that as well, like on the st staircase. Directly at the end of the bar, there was a scrunched up piece of kitchen paper, if you like, tissue, um, with lots of blood around it, on it. So I thought that was probably a pretty good place to look. And it, it was within that scrunched up piece of paper on the tiled floor at the end of the bar, the base of the bar by one of the bar stools. Was there any property damage around the finger? Yes, a fair bit. Uh, on the floor around the area, there were puddles of what smelt like alcohol to me. There were seemed like several drinking glasses, a couple of bottles. One was a Stoliknaya vodka bottle. Um, and at the end of the bar, on the as I said, there was a big chunk out of the bar itself, the bar marble top. Uh, at the end of that, the bar, there was plaster damage right at the end of the bar on the wall. Uh, behind the bar, smashed and cracked. Mirror, there's a blue mirror. That, that stretched that whole span of behind the bar. Lots of cans again behind the bar on the floor, broken window at the end of the bar, and more plastered work damage on the wall above the sink. It was sort of a kitchenette bar, if you like, as well. You mentioned a bottle of vodka. Was the vodka bottle intact? No. No, nothing was really intact. The, the top of it you know, the top of a bottle is like, it had a label on it, which is how I knew it as a Stolik Naya bottle. It had that sort of squiggly S, um, sort of yellow top. The, the, there was a large chunk of a bottle, which I guess was the rest of that, and several other, I mean, lots of other broken glass around the area. After you found the fingertip in the bar area, what did you do next? Well, I gathered it up in that kitchen paper and sort of took it upstairs. I might have shouted up to David Kipper, I found it, um, I'm not sure, but I, I walked back upstairs to the kitchen and put it, got a bag, you know, a little, um, little plastic bag, put the fingertip in there, set it on top of some ice in, in this plastic kitchen container and pretty much handed it over to David Kipper and Jerry Judge, I think, at the time, who were keen to get it to the hospital quickly to see if it could be reattached. Do you recall about what time you found Mr. Depp's finger in the bar area? It was about an hour after I got there, so it would have been around 3.30, I would think, 3.20, 3.30. Okay. Now, you've told us a little bit about the state the house was in when you arrived. Yes. Um, can you generally describe for us and maybe go level by level through the house um, what damage you observed? Sure. Do you want me to start at the lower ground floor in that bar area? I mean, I've described a lot of that. Sure, that's fine. It, it was pretty extensive down there, all that broken glass, the blood. There were a lot of blood drips across that floor. It was a kind of cream-colored tiled floor in that whole games area. As I said, the ping pong table was collapsed, blood drips across the floor and around the, the bar. Uh, and the damage on the walls, as I said, the plaster work at the end of the bar, behind the bar, and the, the chunk out of the marble top. So on the ground, that was the predominant damage in that, in that area, on that level. On the next floor, on the main floor where David Kipper was, in be it in the kitchen itself, again, there were a few broken glasses and cans on the floor, soda cans behind the kitchen island, the chef's kitchen island, liquid 
sort of puddles. Um, there was a sitting room with a couch on a cream colored couch, which had a fair amount of blood drips on the cushions and that, you know, that was obvious. The uh, TV, which was directly in front of that wall mounted TV was cracked with, it seemed like remnants of a coffee cup embedded in some of it. And the rest was below, looked like coffee splattered behind and underneath the TV and on the floor as well. Uh, through there, we'd set up an art studio. If, um, so a lot of the art materials from that, you know, paintbrushes, paint, uh, various art materials were on the floor. A lot of paint on the floor, blood drips throughout that area as well, it's especially over the, it was a vast sort of wooden parquet floor. There was a lot of oil paint and blood drips um, up to the staircase. In one of the bedrooms, there were two bedrooms off of, off of the main kitchen area. One of those bedrooms had um, blood drips on the duvet and a lamp had seemingly been broken. The, sham the shade was removed. Uh, there were a couple of lampshades in, that, in the art studio area um, on the floor. Uh, that was about the extent of the damage. Going upstairs to the next level, there was a uh, few blood smears on, on the wall and on the drips of the stairs going up. Again, a cream color carpet, which is not ideal. Um, and so that's the top floor was the master bedroom, master suite floor, and two bedrooms also up there. Um, Outside the master bedroom, there was damage to the plaster work on the on a pillar outside on the wall. Um, blood drips into the master bedroom, across the master bedroom floor. Going into the master bathroom, um, there was there was a his and hers sink and a mirror, a large mirror above each of the sinks that had writing on on each of them. Uh, again, that one of the bedrooms or both of the bedrooms, I think, had blood on the duvet covers um, and another lamp was broken. And Mr. Depp's guitar was in one of those bedrooms, a bloodstained guitar. Um, his iPad was standing up on one of the beds in, in one of those bedrooms. That's, I mean, that's about the extent of it. That's the damage well, on each it. level. Yeah. Uh, whose job was it to clean all that up? Oh, it was mine. <laughs> it was mine. My responsibility. The house was you know, essentially my responsibility. So you were familiar. Were you familiar with the damage generally throughout the house? I got a pretty good idea as I walked around and saw it all. Yes. Did you observe any damaged phones? No. Uh, did you observe any damage to a wall where a phone might have been ripped off the wall? No. Bleeding. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Right. Yeah. Maybe the next one. Okay. <laughs> Was there any artwork in this house, decorating the house? The owners had left their art in the house, yes. Uh, the, Mr. Depp and Miss Hurd had done some artwork themselves, yes. But, yes, there, there was some that came with the house, if you like. Focusing just on the artwork that came with the house, mm -hmm. um, did you observe any damage to any of that? No, nothing that I needed to re repair or replace. Certainly not, thank goodness. Is there any other damage that comes to mind? Just a lot of blood and a lot of repairs. The floor, as I said, was um, quite heavily with blood and paint. Yeah. And in, in terms of bodily fluids, it was just blood that you observed, no urine or anything else? Yes, absolutely. Right, I'll sustain it's the I'll strike the answer from the record. Sir. No other damage. Does any other damage come to mind? No. Okay. Can we take a look at uh, Defendant's Exhibit 375, which I believe is already in evidence? Yes. And can we publish this to the jury?
Mr. King, are you familiar with the image that's on the screen in front of you? Uh, yes. It's one of the mirrors I was telling you about in the master bathroom. And so were you involved in cleaning any of this up? I cleaned both of those mirrors that, at some point that, that evening, that night, yes. Were you able to tell what was used or what, what substance the, I guess, what, what sort of the ink is that's used on the, on the black writing there? That was the, the same um, oil paint that uh, was on the floor, on the parquet floor downstairs and various other places. It was the same uh, oil paint. All right, how about the red writing that says, call, Sar call Carly Simon, she said it better, babe. Were you able to tell what was used to, to make that writing? Uh, lipstick, Objection I believe. Foundation. Oh. Uh, Objection Foundation. He's testified that he was cleaning it up. Uh, I'll allow it. That's fine. Go ahead. It certainly seemed like lipstick to me, red lipstick. It was quite waxy. I remember taking that off. Um, it, it seemed like lipstick. Okay. We can take that down. 